Hello friends, welcome to Gyan Vigyan Foundation's Ayer Academy and you are watching my YouTube channel Gyan Vigyan Foundation. So friends, today in this video, we shall try to understand one another subtopic in physics that is current electricity part 6. Now let us see the next basic that is the thermistor. A thermistor is a resistor whose resistance depends upon the temperature. In other words, friends, whenever a thermistor is connected in an electrical circuit, then the resistance offered by the resistor in the given electrical circuit will vary according to the variation of the temperature. That is, when the temperature increases, the resistance increases. And when the temperature decreases, the resistance also decreases. This type of thermistor is generally used as a fuse in an electrical circuit. The main use of a thermistor is to measure the temperature of a device. It is as shown in the given figure. So friends, there are five types of thermistors and let us see it one by one. So friends, the first type of thermistor can also be called as radial leaded thermistor and the second type is axial leaded thermistor. The third one is class thermistor. The fourth one is probe thermistor and the fifth one is threaded thermistors. So friends, in this way, we have also completed this subtopic thermistor. Now, friends, let us see the next subtopic that is relay. A relay is nothing but a kind of electromechanical switch which closes and opens like a mechanical switch provided in an electrical circuit. The only difference between a mechanical switch and a relay is that it connects or disconnects two circuits with the help of electricity. Hence, a relay uses electricity to control an electromagnet which in turn connects or disconnects another circuit. The relay is as shown in the given figure. Now friends, let us try to understand the working of relay which is as shown in the given figure. Uh, the relay circuit consists of two parts that is the primary and the secondary part. So at the primary part, the circuit consists of a coil and a mechanical switch and when an electrical power supply is given to the end terminals of the coil, the coil becomes electromagnetized, which in turn attract the mechanical switch to close the circuit due to which the current flows in the secondary part of the relay circuit and as such the bulb gets turned on in the secondary part of the relay circuit and as and when the power supply gets disconnected from the end terminals of the coil at the primary part of the relay circuit, then the relay circuit gets demagnetized, thus putting off the bulb in the relay circuit at the secondary part of the circuit. So friends, by now you might have understood my subtopic current electricity part 6 and if you have understood my current electricity part 6 then please subscribe and like my channel.